Hello YouTube, how you doing today? Today's topic is going to be how to change the hard disk, memory and the CD-ROM for your laptops. So all what you need is these two screwdrivers. So let's start. This PC, it has the CD-ROM, hard drive and uh, the memory chip. So it's very important when you want to work with any laptops or a desktop make sure you're not wearing any clothes that makes any statics because it can it can damage a lot of parts in your laptop so be sure not to be wearing uh, like uh, a clothes or walking on uh, on a carpet that makes any statics very important just only wear a t-shirt and uh, a shorts actually so let's get started for this laptop we're gonna start with the memory so the memory is over here, so we're gonna remove the two screws. There you go. That's your memory over here. So I'm gonna show you how they are connected. If you can see, you can you have the two pins on the left and the right. So what we have to do is to split them apart and you're gonna see the memory is gonna come out by itself. So I'm gonna show you how it's gonna be done. It's very easy and fast. So the two pins, I split them. So I, I know that maybe you heard the noise, so that's it. The memory just went up by itself so I'm gonna put it back it's back I want to take it out the two pins I split them you heard the noise again so all what you have to do is to pull out the memory that's it if you want to go to any store to change that memory they're gonna charge you minimum 25 to 35 dollars just to change your memory chip so just by doing that it takes two seconds to remove a memory chip so what I do usually I remove my parts I go to the store and I tell him I need the same thing or I need like a stronger memory or whatever you need so be very careful uh, when you buy stuff make sure that your PC or laptop can handle the memory so when you take the model you can check on the internet or when you go to the PC store Tell him you got this kind of uh, a PC or a laptop and ask him how, what's the maximum capacity of that laptop. So I'm going to show you now how we're going to put it back. So as you see over here, you got the hole in here, over here. So you have to follow exactly the same track. So over here, you're going to have a pin, the same side. So all what I have to do is to put it inside just I'm gonna try to see because you have to put it in its place properly there you go and push it down that's it so again to remove it we pull we remove it we're gonna put it back we follow the hole we push it down that's it your memory has been changed. Now what are we gonna do for that laptop? We're gonna also check for the hard drive. The hard drive is very, very easy to change. Let's get started. We got the two screws over here. One, two. So we're gonna remove the two screws. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna use the flat screwdriver just to pull it up that's it and that is your hard drive for this hard drive every hard drive every laptop sometimes has its own casing so that's over here the pins and for the casing you have to unscrew one, two, 
three, four screws. When you unscrew the four screws, your hard drive is gonna come off from the casing. This way you can take it to the store and ask for another one, a bigger one, or uh, if, if it was burned, you can change it also. So to put it back, you put it back in its place, you screw the four screws, and all that you have to do is to put it back. So you push it this way, you clip it down, your hard drive has been changed. As you see, it takes no time to change these small things. Now for the CD-ROM, you're gonna see how fast and easy. Just I'm gonna put back that thing over here, that cover. It's very important to make sure that everything is covered properly and everything in its place. So you don't lose any small screws and it's a big problem. Especially if you're not working in a store, usually you keep some on the side. But in this case, you have to be very careful. Whatever you unscrew, put them in a small cup or something and put them on the side so you don't lose anything. So for this PC, laptop, sorry about that, we got over here, we got the lock, the lock and the pin. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna put it to unlock just by pulling back like that and Sorry, it was the wrong side. That's for actually this one here. That's the audio. So you got the screw here, and you, if you unlock it, the audio thing it's all gonna come out. So we're gonna do the CD-ROM side. I made a mistake. Sorry about that. So we're gonna unlock it. It's already unlocked. And when we push out this the CD-ROM. It's gonna come up. So you see, it's very easy. Put it back in. If I wanna remove it, the lock is already unlocked. You push, you pull this side. And that's it, you have to pull really hard. Because sometimes if you don't pull hard, it's not gonna come out. So you pull to the max, and that's it. That's your CD-ROM. It's very easy. So that's it for that one. I showed you the memory, the hard disk, and the CD-ROM. Now I'm gonna show you another laptop. Actually, they all have the same principle. So we do for that one, to remove the, uh, the battery, it has two pins, so it's not the same thing as any other laptops. Sometimes there's two pins, sometimes there's only one pin. So we're gonna remove the pins and remove the battery. That's at the beginning. It's very important to do this, to work safely and to make sure not to damage anything in the laptop. So we're gonna start with the memory. As you see, only one screw. We use the flat screwdriver we remove it, so as you see, they all have the same principle. The two pins, I'm gonna show you, it's over here, left and right. So I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna split them, sorry about that. That one maybe you're gonna have to help it, so when you split, you have to push up the memory. So it doesn't have the same way, so as you see, Oh, it did this time. So, check it out. One and the other one on the, each side. That's it. It went out. So, as you see that one, the memory, you have the gap over here, the hole. And this one fits. If you can see over here, that's the pin. So, to put it back, we make sure they all connect to the same side. So you see, it fits, and you push it down. That's it. That's how you change the memory. So to pull, you take it out, 
you put it back in, you have to follow over here and your pin. It's very, very important. So we're going to put it back. That's it. Your memory has been changed. For this one, for this laptop, it's the CD-ROM is completely a different style. All what you have to do, it's very easy also. But that one, it doesn't have locks. That one, it has only one screw. It's over here. All what you have to do, you remove the screw. And check this out. You push out. And that's your CD-ROM right there you push back in if you wanna I'm gonna show you again you push over here wherever the screw goes in there's like a small thing that you can push it out the whole CD-ROM is gonna come up you put it back there you go it's back in its place so I'm gonna put back the screw so as you see all laptops have the same ideas, they have the same principle and they all work the same way. This laptop also, the hard drive is over here. So what are we going to do? It has two screws. unscrew them and then we use our flat just to pull it up we have to unscrew more on this side that's it the cover is out so if you can see that one it has that thing so you can pull out the driver the, the hard drive I mean that's it that's the hard drive so you see the casing is different than the other one. It has four screws, but it has that thing to pull out. So as you see, two screws in here, two screws in here. So to put back your hard drive, once you bring a new one, all what you have to do is to put it like that, to push to the bottom like that, to push it down, and that's it. Your hard drive just been replaced. So take it out we pull to put it back in we push and we push again and it's done it's simple as that and the stores that they fix PCs they tell you oh you know what don't touch this it's too complicated it's very fragile actually you can do anything in a laptop in no time they are very easy to be replaced each part in the laptop very easy especially hard disk, memory, and uh, CD-ROM. This one, it's a special case. That one, it doesn't have a CD-ROM. So I'm gonna show you how easy to change the parts in it. First, we're gonna do as usual. This laptop has a safety, well actually it's a lock, just to lock the battery over here. I'm gonna show it to you. You see it, you have to pull it to the left. And when you do this, you can pull back the battery. That's it. So to put back the battery, you push it down, you you want to remove it, you you pull that and you pull it up. It's very easy. So to see what's under here, there is only one screw. Can you imagine? Look how fast and easy is this one screw in here we have everything under one screw so we remove the screw and guess what all what you have to do is to push that one out there you go it's very simple and easy and you can do it in no time so now I'm going to show you how it works. As you see, the all, all the laptops have the same thing. The hard drive, 
the memory over here with the two pins as usual and you got the network the wireless network card so I'm gonna show you here always the same thing you split the two pins that's it your memory is out take it out you follow also they all have the same thing the pin in here and the hole so you follow it you put it and you push it down it clips so you remove it and it clips down that's it as for the hard drive this one is a bit fragile we have to be a bit careful because over here as you can see this wire we cannot damage once you damage you have to buy a new one and this one that's that's the one that connects the hard drive into your motherboard so what we do usually you got you have to put back this down here from the left and from the right so this way you can pull the wire out so I'm gonna show you that's it and now to remove the hard disk it's very simple so what are we gonna do it's that's it that's the hard drive so that one it's a special it doesn't have the same casing and it's not the same way it's not connected the same way to the motherboard as the others that one it has two screws so I'm gonna remove them one and check this out when you do this that's what connects the hard drive so let's say you bring your hard drive you change it you want to upgrade it you do whatever you want you want to put it back all what you have to do make sure that when you remove any parts in your PC or a laptop make sure to memorize or take a picture now we got all, all of us has phones Take a picture before you unscrew or you remove anything and this way if anything happens you can assemble it back. So this one in this case I remove the two screws and all what I have to do is you see over here and that they go together. That's it. So I'm going to put back the screws. And as I told you before, it's very important to keep all the screws in one place. Especially when you work with a laptop because there's a lot of small screws and you do not want to lose any of these screws. Because they are all special screws. So I'm gonna... That's gonna be better. So now to put back the pin I'm going to show you. We put back the hard drive in its place. So now what we're going to do we have to make sure you remember when I pulled I'm going to show you here that great thing. So what we have to do is to put the wire back in here. Just I'm going to there you go so you see I'm gonna push it in and the lock that I removed you remember that these two pins that I removed I have to push them back in so they're gonna lock my connection over here so I lock the left and I do the right so now actually we're gonna try to do them at the same time this is gonna be better because when you push on one side the other side is gonna come out so we do it together at the same time on both sides and that's it your wire won't not will not come out because now it's locked so now we're gonna put back the cover and we put back the screw And that's it it's as easy as this with no effort as I showed you the three laptops have the same 
thing. So no effort, no nothing. And that's how you can change everything in your laptop without any issue. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe under Fix It Samuel. One word. It's very important. And for the next topics, it's going to be about desktops. I'm going to show you how to change everything in your desktop. So we're going to have a lot of ideas. I'm going to help you a lot. And I'm going to help you save a lot of money just by showing you how it's done. So thanks again for everything. Thanks for your patience. It was a, a small, uh, like it was a long movie, but I'm sure that it's going to be very, very efficient and it's going to help you a lot. So thanks again and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Fix it, Samo. One word. Thanks and have a nice evening.